Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's do a problem with a geometric figure. In this case, we have a right triangle, and they're telling us that one leg of the triangle is two centimeters shorter than the other leg. If the hypotenuse is 10 centimeters, what is the length of the two legs? It always is a good idea to draw the figure. So let's draw a right triangle. And we're told that the hypotenuse is 10 centimeters and that one of the legs is 2 centimeters shorter than the other leg. So we can start with letting x be one of the legs. So let x equal one leg. Then, since the other one is, or since that one is 2 centimeters shorter than the other one, then x plus 2 is the other leg. Now it doesn't really matter if we let it let x minus 2 be the other leg or x plus 2 be the other leg. It doesn't matter because one is shorter than the other. That means the other is shorter than the one. So it really didn't matter. That means we can call this x and we can call this x plus 2. We could have called this x and this x minus 2. And again, we'll get the same result. Matter of fact, we'll do it that way. We'll do it that way a second time. So the second time we'll go ahead and call 1x and the other one x minus 2 and you'll see we should get the same result each time. So let's do this one first, x and x plus 2. Now we know from Pythagorean theorem that the sum of the squares of the two sides equal the square of the hypotenuse. For example, if we have a triangle like this, it's a right triangle and this is a and this is b and this is c, we know that a square plus b squared equals c squared. So we're going to use that same technique over here, but instead of a, b, and c, we have x, x plus 2, and 10. So x squared plus x plus 2 squared equals 10 squared. Now we're going to solve this quadratic equation to find the right solution. Then we'll do it again, but now we'll call this x minus 2, and we'll see, we should get the exact same result. All right, this becomes x squared plus x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 100. Notice when we multiply this out, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now let's combine like terms and let's move the 100 across. So we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 100 equals 0. Combining these two, we get 2x squared plus 4x plus 96 equals 0. But now notice that all the numerical coefficients are even. We can therefore factor out a 2. So that's 2 times x squared plus 2x plus, ooh, wait a minute. Aha, uh -huh, that's not plus. This is minus. And this is minus because 4 minus 100 is minus 96. So 2x minus, now this becomes 48, equals 0. And then we divide both sides of the equation by 2 which means that we end up with the following equation. We end up with uh, x squared plus 2x minus 48 equals 0. And now we're ready to factor that. When we factor that, it looks as follows. To get this, we need an x and an x. The signs need to be plus and minus because otherwise when we multiply, we can get a minus 48. And when we add them, we get 2x. That means the plus is 2 more than the negative. That means we need a plus 8 and a negative 6. 8 minus 6 is 2, and plus 8 times a minus 6 is a minus 48. Since we have two binomials multiplied together giving us 0, that means either x plus 8 equals 0 or x minus 6 equals 0, which means that x equals negative 8 or x equals 6. Now, x equals 6 is the only possible solution because we can get a negative length for the side of a triangle. So x equals 6 is the correct solution, which means that this side is equal to x to, to 6, and this is 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. So we have a 6, 8, 10 triangle. But what if we had used x minus 2 instead of x plus 2? What would happen? Well, we get the very same equation, except in this case, we're going to do it like this. We're going to get x squared plus, and then here, let's make sure we understand, see it, that would be x minus 2 squared equals 10 squared. So now let's go ahead and work this problem out and see what we get. 
This would be x squared. And then when we square this, we get plus x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 100. Collecting common terms and bringing this across, we'll get 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 100 is minus 96 equals 0. And dividing everything by 2, we get x squared minus 2x minus 48 equals 0. Now let's go ahead and factor that and see what we get. So again, we'll get an x and an x. Again, we need a positive and a negative number, positive and negative. But now when we add them together, we get a negative 2, which means the bigger of the two numbers must be negative. So a negative 8 and a positive 6 will do it because plus 6 minus 8 is minus 2, and 6 times a minus 8 is a minus 48. So in this case, continuing over here, we then know that either x plus 6 equals 0 or x minus 8 equals 0, which means that x equals negative 6 or x equals a positive 8. And again, only the positive 8 can be the proper solution because we can't have negative lengths. So if we then let x equal 6, that means that x is equal to 8. So then this side becomes 8. But here, this side will be 8 minus 2 or 6. But in other words, we just simply reverse the order of the numbers. And since we didn't know how long each of the sides were, it doesn't matter. It's 6 and 8 or 8 and 6. Essentially, we get the exact same solution either way. And so we could have solved it either way. And that is how it's done.